Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney here today to tell you about Google Jamboard on the web. First, we'll talk about creating jams, and then we'll talk about viewing existing jams. To access Google Jamboard on the web, simply type jamboard.google.com into your browser, and there you are. To create a new jam, we click the plus button. Here you can give your jam a title. You have the four pens that work all a little bit differently. And lastly, this fourth, which is a little bit more like a highlighter. There is an eraser button. As you can see, change the color by clicking the art palette. Add a sticky note using the sticky note tool. Type the text, change the color, clear yellow. As you can see, there's a handful of colors. Insert. And then use the select tool to move a post-it note. Click the Jamboard logo to go back to Jamboard Home. On the home screen, you can click through frames of a jam very easily, just using the arrow buttons. Let's open this jam that I've created in the app. The same tools work the same way in already existing jams. There's also an undo and a redo button, which is really nice. And to move existing content, here I have an image. Click the select tool and move. The three dot tool lets you duplicate or delete content. Additionally, you can access frames by clicking the frames above and move to said frame. You can advance forward and backward just by clicking the arrows. And that is Google Jamboard on the web. If you have any questions about it, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.